Hello, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi, and you? I'm okay, thank you. Happy Monday. Thank you. How are you? How is everything today? Repeat, teacher. How is everything today? How was your day today? Good? Good. Messi the champion once again. <laughs> what do you think? Good or not? Good. I think it's good, but I don't think the competition was good this year. Messi no jugó tan bien este año, pero no tuvo mucha competencia tampoco. <laughs> Maybe. Let me see. Dun, 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 dun. Let me open the English class. Let me see. Hello, Alba, how are you? Hello, can you hear me, class? Me pueden oír? Yes, teacher. Okay, please, yes. please, please talk. Yes. Really, no yes, sense yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's do the class then. Thank you, let's do the class right now. Let me open. Personality trait, let me see. Is that me, the Android? No. Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad tempered. Creative. Critical. Disorganized. Efficient. Forgetful. Generous. Hardworking. Impatient. Level. Alguien tiene el parlante cerca o. Hello, alguien. Hello. Hello, Gustavo, creo que eres tú. Gustavo. No, es not Gustavo. Ok, yes, Gustavo, hello. Ok, yes, es Gustavo. Gustavo, I think your you're, you're microphone, Gustavo. Yes, es Gustavo. Okay, can you hear me now, Gustavo? Hello? Okay, well, maybe he can. Gustavo, can you hear? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, okay, good. Now you're okay. Okay. It sounded like, like you were Android, like Darth Vader. <laughs> really? Yes. I think it's a, a Windows update. Oh, okay. Uh, my configuration. 
Oh, no problem. Okay, I'm going to start over. Let's, the audio, you can hear the video, correct, class? Yes. Yeah. All right, okay, let's listen. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad-tempered. Creative. Critical. Disorganized. Efficient. Forgetful. Generous. Hardworking. Impatient. Level-headed. Moody. Punctual. Reliable. Strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and coworkers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Wait, did you understand? Let me see. Yes. Losses with because. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because it's a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor, or an actress. Please share your responses on our discussion box. Okay, let's do this. It says complete sentences with appropriate information using because. Complete, ah, ya le iba a decir en inglés. Complete relaciones con la, la afirmación más apropiada del uso de because. Y esto es, es porque, pero esto es, 
Es que en inglés hay, do, hay dos because, hay dos usos de because. ¿Por qué, estás, ¿Por qué estás sentado? Porque estoy cansado. ¿Por qué es de dar una justificación y, y hay un por qué de dar una razón? Entonces, en este caso es como dar una razón. Dice, I wouldn't be a nurse. No sería una enfermera o enfermero because because I don't like hospitals because I really enjoy traveling because I have a terrible memory because I am terrible with numbers because I love creative writing. What, what do you think it is? Because I don't like hospitals. Don't like hospitals. Yes, good. Me too, I don't like hospitals. I would like to be a novelist because I love creative writing. Good. I love creative writing. I could never be an astronaut because, because I am terrible, I am terrible with, with numbers. Number. Because I am terrible with numbers. Yeah. I don't understand why that number's an astronaut. I mean, yes, but like I could never be an astronaut because no, man, I will not take the risk. I am a chicken. I would like to, uh, I would make a bad waiter because because uh, I have a terrible memory. Good, because I have a terrible, have a terrible memory. memory. Waiters have a terrible memory. Okay. Here in El Salvador, waiters are good. Imagine when you go with your complete family and you tell the waiter, okay, I want Tres pupusas de queso con loroco. Cuatro solo con loroco. Una chicharrón con queso. Otras revueltas. Otras frijol con chicharrón. You start doing all this and then the waiter remembers. I could be an astronaut. I'm sorry. I could be a flight attendant. Because I really enjoy traveling. Yes, because I really enjoy traveling. Good. All right. Okay. Uh oh. Pueden ver mi pizarra, yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. If you walk to work, you won't have to, may have to, or I'd have to. Won't have, won't have to. Won't have to. Yes. So if you if you walk to work, you won't have to pay for the bus. Gustavo, if you take your lunch to work, I won't have to pay for the lunch. Very good. Alba, if you if you iron este aspecto que me quedó ahí un poco como, como en el aire, pues eso también. That... Okay, let me see. George. Oh, no, I'm sorry, George. Genaro. Nosotros, eh, Ay, ¿cómo decirles? ¿Cómo vender estas aspectos? Alba, se oye Genaro. algo. Genaro. Hi. Hi. Genaro. Uh... Okay. Let me see. 
Se me olvidó que le iba a decir. ¿no? <risa> Enaro, if you... Let me see, let me see, let me see. If you... If you pay your bills, your cell phone bill on time, si lo paga a tiempo. Um, I pay cell phone eh, no more. No what? No more. Para con, Very good. You Se more? llama recharge. Uh, uh, un, un cargo. Extra charge. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So, Extra charge. if you pay your cell phone on time, you won't pay extra charge. Okay. Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. number, uh, let's continue with number two. If you a vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed. Take. Hey, take. take. If you take, yes. If you get married, you will have, will have less free time. Number four, Fiona carefully plans her day so she's never late for appointments. She likes to be punctual. punctual. Jerry tries to help people, never says no. When someone asks him for a favor, he seems like a really generous. generous man. Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost never smile. Everyone thinks they're moody and bad-tempered. Bad -tempered. I'm bad-tempered. Okay, we're going to do a listening. Let's listen to Sylvia, Harry, and Marsha, Jim's dad, and Mac. Can you hear? Oh, no. Yes. Units 9 to 10 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Sylvia, can you believe that 15 years ago, not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So you wouldn't want to go back to those days. No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. Two. I love old houses. I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But, Marcia, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true, but just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving. You'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling and... <laughs> so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad. I mean, I want a job that involves traveling. Oh, like uh, an airline pilot? Well, not exactly, but hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, 
so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm, a flight attendant. Do you think your mom and I would get to fly at a special family rate? I think so. Great. Four. Do you know yet what you're going to do this summer? Well, I think I'd make a good counselor because I really like working with children. I'm going to try to work at a summer camp. Yeah, you'd be great working with kids at a camp. That kind of job isn't for me, though. But, Mac, you like hiking and camping, and you're hardworking. But I'd hate to have the responsibility of taking care of a group of children. And I'm way too impatient to work with kids. Well, what else would you enjoy doing? I really enjoy working outdoors. I think I'm going to try to find a job working at a national park. I'd love to help park rangers take people on nature hikes and things like that. Okay, let's listen. So Sylvia has some old letters from her grandmother, is going to sell an old typewriter, or is happy with her laptop? Uh, happy with her, her laptop. laptop. With her laptop. Good. According to Harry, if Marsha stays in her apartment, what could happen? She may, she may have to make a lot of repairs to it. She'll have more time to save for a house. She won't be able to afford a big old house. She'll have more time to save for a house. To save for a house, okay. Jim's dad. The idea, like the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant. Flight attendant, okay. And number four, Mac. Wants yeah. to have a job at a national park. All right, cool. Yes, Mac wants to have a job at a national park. Nice. Complete this conversation. It says, I'm not very good at, pi at typing. Well, I'm not just. Oh, I am. Oh, I am. Good. So I'm not very good at typing. Oh, I am. I like working with computers. So do I. So do I. So do I. Remember, so do I is como si me too. Mm -hmm. I don't mind driving to work every day. Neither do I. Very good. Yeah, neither do, neither I. do I. Let's see if we're right. Yep, we're all right. Let's see. Neither do I. And. What is what is the difference between me too and so do I? Bien. Excuse me? Yo también, no. Y so do I? For example, listen, I like chocolate. Pueden decir me too or so do I? Me too. Me too. Mm -hmm. So do I. Uh, uh, maybe so be used when it's about an action. Or doesn't matter. No, good. Yes. So do I is when you mention a verb. In this case, que dije, I like chocolate. Chocolate. I like chocolate. Like is a verb. So you say, so do I. I hate. I hate 
shopping for clothes. So do I, because I said the verb hate shopping. But if I say I am happy. Me too. It's me too. Why? Why, Melissa? Because after the bear, there are an adjective. Yes, there is no action. Just choose an adjective. Uh, I am happy. Mm -hmm. I am sad. I am angry. When it's an adjective, you say I am. When it's a verb, you say so do I. Okay, um, Fiona carefully plans her day so she's never late for appointments. She likes to be a Oh. Yes. It repeats, it repeats, yes. Amy and Sam get angry easily, almost never smile. Everyone thinks they are a temper. A tempered, yes. Okay, here, instructions, match the sentence with the appropriate information. I would like to work as an English teacher because I am too disorganized and can't stand hospitals because I am very patient and enjoy helping people learn because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people or because I don't like to travel or work with people. The second one. I'm very patient and very very patient. Yes. Um, let me see. Giovanni, are you there? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Where is a country that you would like to visit? Um, Spain. Why? Because in this country, it's how um, a st stadium <laughs> with my favorite teams. Okay. Which team? Real Madrid. <laughs> oh. Oh, when? Who, who, who? Sorry, sorry, but it's my, no, my no. favorite. No, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. No, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Okay, no problem. I would like to visit France, maybe France, because it has many art museums. Okay. Um, let me see. Evelyn, are you there? Yes, teacher. Hi. Who is one famous person you would like to meet and why? Remember, famous. It can be a celebrity, it can be a politician, but famous. Okay. Uh, I think I would like to meet Robert Downey Jr. Why? It's an inside person. Okay, good. There's problem with your audio, with your microphone. Okay, so let's do number two. Uh, da, 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 da. I wouldn't want to be a flight attendant because Dan, Dan Palace. Because I don't like to travel or war with people. Very good. Because I don't like to travel or work with people. Excellent. I would make a good waiter, Miguel. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, because I have a excellent memory and like meeting people. Good. You know, yesterday I went to the beach with my family. 
we went to Dolce Vita. And um, in the table next to us, you had on those gringos, a woman, two women. And they ask for camarones empanizados, right? Shrimp. Shrimp, yes. But a big, big plate. And um, they only ate one. And that's it. Se fueron. Yo me quedé. I was thinking, but uh, uh, ahí estaban mis suegros. No, porque lo, me hubiera ganado el plato. <laughs> Valía como 45 dólares ese plato, man. Crazy people. <laughs> I could never become a doctor, Gustavo. I could never become a doctor because I'm too disorganized and can't stand, can't stand hospital. I'm too disorganized. 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 See the machine? And we finish this section. So I don't like working on weekends. Let's see the three questions here. I think we finished, no? Yeah. Hey, cool. So tomorrow we can do a free, like, free class of your option. What do you want to do tomorrow? No. Okay, look, let's do one thing. Do you remember future? Yes. Okay, good. Esto vamos a hacer ahorita. Le voy a, a dar la respuesta. Y ustedes, por favor, denme la pregunta. Mr. Huayua, are you there? Yeah, teacher, I'm here. Okay, listen to this. Okay. I am going to eat chicken for lunch tomorrow. Uh, what will you eat? What will you eat uh, tomorrow at lunch? Very good. Yes, yes, excellent. Yes, and I'm going wow, to eat okay. lunch for. Okay, good. Hello, okay, Carmen. Good. Carmen, is that? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. What right. about you, teacher? I'm okay, thank you. Everything is okay here. So listen, Maybe I am going to eat pork in Christmas. Okay, what are you going to eat in Christmas? On Christmas. Very good. I'm going to eat pork, maybe. Pork or turkey sandwich? Uh, Miguel Garcia. No. No, I am not going to go to the beach Sunday. Uh, do you go to the beach on the Sunday? Oh. The question. I am not going to go to the beach on Sunday. What is the question? Who 
Who can help him? I don't know. Listen. Okay. I am going to go. Ahí está el tiempo. I am going to go to the beach. I'm sorry. I am not going to go to the beach Sunday. Oh, do you go into the beach in, in Sunday? The beginning is not correct. Mm -hmm. Help Miguel class. Who can help him? Are you going Will, to go? Are you going? Yes. Is are you going to go mm -hmm. to the beach Sunday? Yes, Miguel. Yes, more simple. <laughs> yes, you said. Do you? Yes. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. Genaro. I Thank am go. Hi. I am going to buy a car next year. Are you going to course next year? No, because listen, it's a direct answer. I am going to buy a house, a car next year. Are you? Are you, are you, are you going to pay uh, to pay house the next year? Ok, Naro. Oiga esto. Nunca ni dije pay ni dije house. Listen. Okay. I am going to buy a car next year. Are you... Are you buys... Repeat, teacher. Sure, Repeat. no problem. No problem. Okay. I am going to buy a house. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, I'm sick of you. No. <laughs> I am going to buy a car next year. Uh, when? Do you buy uh, the cars and Near year? No, pero estoy seguro que Miguel le va a ayudar. Miguel, what is the correct question? Oh, please. <laughs> Are you buy? It's, it was similar. It was similar to to your problem, Miguel. Don't listen. Are you going to buy a car? The next a car next year. Okay, very good, Genaro. Pero la mente era, when are you going to buy a car? When? Ah, uh, okay, teacher. Yes, porque I said when. When, when yes. Buy next year. No, no, only when are you going to buy a car? Because the answer is, I am going to buy a car next year. What are you, what are you going to buy next year? Oh, that's correct too. What are you going to buy oh. next year? Yes, very good. Yes. I am going to buy a car next year. Ahora, Genaro, usted me decía, are you going to buy a car next year? Está buena la pregunta si la respuesta hubiera sido yes. I am going to buy a car next year. Okay. Okay, Melissa. Yes. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? So so, and you? Why so so? What's wrong? I'm cold. cold. You're cold. Yes, I'm cold. Oh, but you're in Santa Ana, right? Yes. <laughs> Santa Ana is is not cold. It's cool, right? Cold. Okay. Oh, so it's it's cool. It's fresco. Oh no. Um, I only that. Excuse me. In the day, in 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 the day is hot. Okay. Oh, okay. 
<clears throat> All right, Melissa, I'm sorry, you're not you're not married. You live with your boyfriend, correct? Yes. Or are you married? No. Are you going no. to get married someday? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, 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 I was imagining, I yes, have, I'm going. I, no, I, I know I'm not going to marry it. To get married. Never. <laughs> to get married. <laughs> never, never. Oh, man. Yeah. I think it now. <laughs> I don't know, in the future. With a different person, maybe, or something. No, marriage maybe. is... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> marriage is a beautiful thing. Hey, Gustavo, <laughs> are you going to get married in the future? No, not yet. <laughs> in the future, maybe. But but you are five years with your girlfriend, correct? Yeah, and we can still for the next year. In the yeah. next five years. But you know, you know what, Gustavo. There is yeah. no book, there is no book to say, yeah. oh, I am ready. You are never ready. Yeah, yeah, that's true. There, yeah, so it's like it's like when you become a father, when people say, are you going to have babies? No, no, I'm not ready. Nobody's ready. You yeah. just do it. Do it when you feel it. Yeah, that's, that's it. All right, good. Mi hijo se estaba metiendo al estudio. Because I found his turtle. Okay, so this is what we're going to do now. We're going to practice third person. So listen. Carmen. Yes, teacher. Hi, Carmen. Hi, teacher. Are you married? Yes, I'm married. Yes, I am married. Yes, I am married. Do you I have children? Yes, I have a daughter. Only one daughter? Only one daughter. What is her name? Her name is Valeria. Oh, beautiful name. How old is she? She's nine years old. Oh, man, she's a baby. Yes. Okay, where do you work, Carmen? I work in Avianca. Okay. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is tacos. Tacos. What are your favorite tacos? Sorry? What are your favorite tacos? Mm, I I think that my favorite tacos are with meat and cheese. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Daniel, where does Carmen work? Uh, Daniel Palace. Oh yeah, Dan, Daniel Palace. Yes, Dan Palace. <laughs> Dan Palace. Um, and the question, uh, Carmen Melissa? Yes, yes. Where now every question I ask Carmen, I will ask you in third person. So where does where does Carmen work? Uh, Carmen dice, do you do you work? Yes, remember the conversation I had with Carmen? Um, she is uh, working. She works in. Avianca. She works. She works in Avianca. Very good. All right. I buy you there. No. Okay. Yes. Oh, wow! You scared me. I bought. <laughs> My God. <laughs> no, because you know I wasn't expecting yes. I go, whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um oh wait, look. Uh, 
Um, I've. Uh, yes. You're there, right? Yes, I am. Look. You see. Uh huh. Ah, <laughs> that's what we're, you were talking about. Yes, watch. Week. Look. You see, look. You see? Yes. So you put that on the clothes and shh, it's like me don't. So you shake it, you put it on the clothes, and only one time, boom. Y hasta parada, oh. que, hasta parada queda la camisa. <laughs> 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 really? It's true. Wow. Yeah, I recommend you. I remember you. Say you say in super selectos, right? Yes, it's in yeah. the supermarkets. Niagara. Yeah, remember Niagara, like the Niagara Falls. Okay. Now I need to take this off. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. All right. I will buy it. Yes. It's... It will help me. A lot. It, it does. It really helps. Okay. Um, Alba, what is Carmen's daughter's name. Oigan como se dos S. Porque en español se, yo diría como se llama la hija de Carmen. So in English is what is Carmen's daughter's name? Two possessions. Carmen's daughter and daughter's name. So what is Carmen's daughter's name? I don't remember, but it was it would be like <laughs> Carmen's daughter's name is someone ba can help me. Vale. Valeria. <laughs> okay. Valeria. Okay. Carmen's daughter's name is Valeria. Excellent. Evelyn, are you there? Yes, All right. Yes. Okay. Okay. What can is? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, what is Carmen's son's name? Carmen doesn't have a son. Very good. Carmen doesn't have a son. Good answer. Otra posible. Carmen only has one daughter. Carmen doesn't have a son. Very good. Miguel, is Carmen divorced? No. Uh, Carmen's, uh, Carmen is married. All right. Very good. All right. Good. See, Genaro. Hi, teacher. Hello. What is Carmen's favorite food? Carmen's favorite food is tacos. All right. Nice. All right. Let's interview a man now. Gustavo. Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. I live in... Okay. I live in San Salvador. Be more specific, yeah, yeah. please. <laughs> yeah. I live near from National University. Near the National University. Repeat. Near the National University. Okay, good. You can't say near from. Two yeah, prepositions yeah, together. No. Okay. I oh. forget. No, it's okay. So one more time. Where do you live? I live near the National University. Okay, and do you do you rent a house, a room, or apartment, or what? A room. I rent a room. I rent a room. Okay, and how often do you go to San Miguel? 
I usually go to San Miguel every weekend. Every weekend. Did you go to the carnival? No, no, I, I didn't go. Hey, I saw that Kuno thing. No era broma entonces, o sí? No, I don't know. I, I didn't watch it. Oh, oh my God, you're a circle. So, um, how was the carnival? It was good, bad? Uh, I don't know. Uh, some people told me it was uh, not good. I was watching on YouTube the um, YouTubers, and yeah. um, it was empty. So the... Yeah, that's an, um, if you, well, if you compare with another years, yes. it was yes. incomparable. Um, and listen, ooh. Do you prefer the pupusas from San Miguel or San Salvador? From San Miguel. Okay, but answer complete. I prefer. I prefer uh, pupusas from San Miguel. Why? Mm. The curtido? The curtido. I prefer the, the curtido and uh, you say the, the corn dough. Mm -hmm. uh, I smell like a little different from Samuel. Okay, all right. Okay. How old are you, Gustavo? I'm 29 years old. Years old, yeah. Okay, Melissa. Hi. Hi. Where does Gustavo live? He lives in San Salvador. In San Salvador. But where? Uh, near to the uh, National University. Very good. Yes. Sí, aprenden a ser más específicos, okay? Because siempre pasa eso. Where are you from? Where do you live? Oh, San Salvador. No. Imagine if you call an Uber. ¿De dónde está? En San Salvador. Okay, good. Ah, pues ya voy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you always have to say, oh, I am in La San Luis. I am in, I don't know, La Campanera. I am. Yo no sé, hay un árbol. <laughs> El palo de ule. Everywhere is palo de ule. All right. Uh, uh, when you talk in Spanish as well. Casually, when another people or something and, and ask you about where do you live, I don't know. It's like always say, Where do you live? Ah, I'm living in Samuel. Ah, okay, that's nice. Uh, I don't know why, because oh, why well, we are not. To well, because, okay, there's a difference. For, for example, you, I mean, Imagine you come visit to San Salvador. Where do you live? Oh, I live in San Miguel. Oh, okay, good. Because mm -hmm. we assume there's like, yeah. a, it's a different department. Bar, like, yeah. Yes, aunque me digas, oh, I live in La, in la Presita or something in San Miguel. I don't know the place. Yeah. yeah, I don't know the place. So here you just generalize. Yeah. But like, in, but like let's say here you go to a bar or a disco and you meet yeah. a girl. Hi, where do you live? It's bien claro que te vas a decir. In San Salvador, or sí, maybe aquí, Santa Tecla. Yeah, me acostumbraba así. Hey, de dónde son? Ah, es lo que es. no preguntan <laughs> más. Pero en cambio allá, cuando estoy allá y alguien me preguntan, mira dónde son? Ah, yo vivo en Montagua, en tal y tal lugar. Yes. Entonces, como en automático ya lo tiene uno de ser más específico. Yes, it's true. It's true. Okay, Daniel Edgardo. Hi, teacher. Hello, man. Hey, how is why you? How is why you in this moment? Cold? Uh, yes, cold, cold. Nice. Listen, Daniel. Um, how old is Gustavo? 
Gustavo. Híjole, repeat your age, Gustavo, please. Ya va a entrar a los entas. Ah, 29 Look years old. <laughs> He is? He is 29 years old. Yes, he's 29. Okay, good, good. Está joven right. todavía. Oh, yes, he's still very young. I don't know. Very, I don't very know. young, very young. 29 years is a long life. Oh, please. I have 39. <laughs> You're 39. 39, yes. I am 39. Oh, okay. We are all young. Yes, uh, <laughs> let me see. Giovanni, are you there? Yes, teacher. Does Gustavo live in a big, big house? No, teacher. He lives... Um, he rents a room. Very good, yes. He doesn't need a big house. It's only him. <laughs> unless unless you find a girlfriend here, Gustavo, which I recommend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I recommend you to have a girlfriend here and one in San Miguel. <laughs> it's just That's a seven. little yes, it's a little recommendation. Miguel Garcia. <clears throat> Hello. Why does he prefer the pupusas in San Miguel? Uh, because Gustavo saying uh, um, corn down the corn dough down down in uh, curtido the curtido. Okay, he says because of the curtido and the corn dough, mm -hmm. it's okay. different. Yes. What is corn down? Corn. Dough, non dong, dough. Mister? Yeah. Dough. Remember Friday, dough, oh no, Thursday, dough, the donut, dough, gets dough. Oh, dough. Masa. Masa. Mm -hmm. The mice. Uh huh. Corn, when, dough. When do you live in San Miguel? Yes. You have tried the El Portal Pupusas. I remember, I remember Los Gorritos, very famous. And um, San Rafael. I, I, Portal is... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Tú oíste una vez que Los Gorritos cerró. El San Miguel es tan pequeño que es como una pequeña ciudad. Que una vez cerró porque toda la gente se intoxicó. Sí. Yo fui, yo estaba ahí. ¿En serio? Yes, I was there. Fue heavy, man. O sea, I, I ate pupusas that night. Y en la noche estaba... But it was horrible. Like, really, it was terrible. Terrible. And I was sweating. And yo, que me pasa? Que me pasa? Like, oh, man. And... um. They took me to the hospital because I was in very, very bad condition and they did exams. What was the problem? Amoebas. Um, but immediately, me dice, tenés el huevo y el animal. So, it ya. It was for the cultivo, right? Yes, what happened was that, ya, ya tenía bien, o sea, lo que me dijo el doctor, que el animal ya estaba adentro vivo. Ajá, y esos son los que se van al cerebro. De que, de... Anyways, when I was in the hospital that night, five more people came con los mismos síntomas. You know, like, que comieron los gorritos, los gorritos. O oh, sea, conclusion, everybody. Oh, man. Una familia que creo que si iban a ir a Estados Unidos el siguiente día, fueron a cenar todos ahí, eran como 20, todo el mundo se enfermó ese día. Y cerraron como un mes, desaparecieron. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Pero fui tan bruto que volví a ir. Pero ya Because, 
They're no, good. Yeah. Yeah, no. Oh, they're really? Yeah. 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 They're awful now. Oh, they're ugly now? Yes. Masochist. The ones I like, they would names. Marisol. Marisol. Oh, I remember Maricela. I remember where Maricela. Is, where is Maricela? Is uh, uh, near to satellite, to colonial satellite. Near the ah, satellite. Oh yes. yeah. I I don't know. It's telling Maricela. But, but listen, amigas, in the lado bueno, man, uno pierde 10 libras in una noche, man. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Really, it was, it was it was very very ugly. <laughs> All right. So yeah, the the curtido was. Desde ahí siempre me quedé traumado con el curtido. Bien raro. O sea, I like curtido, pero si lo veo algo, no, <laughs> I don't I don't need it. Yeah. So you remember you too, Evelyn? You remember that gorritos fue en esa ocasión? Yes. Yeah. Fue. My mother uh, never wants to go to buy. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. They closed. They disappeared. Yeah. Because everybody was angry. Yes. Okay. Um, let me see. El Alba. Yes. Ow. <laughs> Alba is happy. Alba. When is Gustavo going to get married? <laughs> I remember his age, that he likes pupusa, but I don't remember that. <laughs> he didn't. He said he's not planning to get married. Uh, <laughs> remember? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, class. Mañana vamos a hacer una actividad así, okay? Vamos a... Um... Hablar con uno y tienen que oír y después responder en tercera persona, ¿ok? okay. Con todos los tiempos, adjectives y todo. ¿Ok? okay. Ha have a happy Monday. Very good. I'll see happy you tomorrow. Happy Monday. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.